Once upon a time, rockets were like shooting stars. Brilliant, but gone in a flash. They'd gulp down fuel, race into space, and then crash back to Earth, leaving a hefty bill for each trip. Not exactly sustainable, am I right? But then, the world saw Elon gear up to find the vibranium to his rockets, the Raptor engine that wouldn't need a breakup after every voyage, but a sustainable relationship of reusability. This astounding discovery was jaw-dropping, a scientific marvel even the least on al -Ghib wouldn't have thought of. But here's where the plot thickens. This game-changing technology has got competitors like Blue Origin and even NASA feeling a bit starstruck. Let's take a ride through the reality of reusable Raptor engines and all viewers who failed to get a girl here on Earth. Your bright chances of a Martian girlfriend are beating the odds. Propulsion systems have been instrumental in the success of space missions since the dawn of space travel. SpaceX's Raptor engine represents a recent milestone in rocket propulsion technology. This month, SpaceX introduced a new variant of this renowned engine. The Raptor engine project began with the ambitious goal of facilitating interplanetary travel, particularly for missions to Mars and beyond using the Starship spacecraft. Designed in the early 2010s, the Raptor employs liquid oxygen or LOX and liquid methane CH4 as propellants, offering advantages over traditional rocket engines. One key feature of the Raptor engine is its utilization of a full-flow staged combustion cycle, which enhances efficiency and thrust compared to conventional engines. This design minimizes fuel consumption, essential for interplanetary travel, while maximizing performance by efficiently utilizing both fuel and oxidizer. Methane offers several advantages over other commonly used rocket propellants, such as liquid hydrogen. It's more abundant and easier to produce both on Earth and potentially on other celestial bodies. Additionally, methane storage properties make it suitable for long-duration space missions without requiring complex installation systems. SpaceX's primary objective has always been to reduce the cost has always been to reduce the cost of space travel through reusability. The Raptor engine's robust design enables multiple launches with minimal maintenance, aligning with SpaceX's vision of making space travel as routine as air travel. SpaceX continuously refines the Raptor engine through rigorous testing and analysis, pushing technological boundaries with each iteration. From initial prototypes to the latest variants, every advancement brings humanity closer to a future where space exploration is more accessible and routine. Over the past decade, SpaceX has crafted the formidable Raptor engine, now standing as one of the world's most impressive rocket engines. Each Raptor can summon half a million pounds of thrust, rivaling the power of NASA's retired space shuttle or the Space Launch System rocket. What sets SpaceX's Raptor apart is its remarkable reusability, a feature that has sent shockwaves through the space industry. Elon Musk envisions each engine capable of soaring up to 1,000 times, supporting the grand ambitions of the Starship program. This goal, unprecedented in the history of rocket engines, poses a significant challenge. The most reused engine to date, found in the space shuttle, flew only a dozen times. Yet SpaceX is no stranger to audacious goals. With a track record of surpassing expectations, they've shattered norms by reusing Falcon 9 boosters up to 21 times, far beyond their initial target of 10 flights. While achieving 10,000 flights for Starship may seem distant, the potential for 1,000 flights is within grasp, a feat that would redefine space exploration. To enable such reusability, SpaceX engineers have meticulously integrated various technical factors into the Raptor engine's design, leveraging its capabilities in ways previously unseen in the industry. This strategic approach positions SpaceX at the forefront of rocket technology, outshining its competitors like Blue Origin and NASA. Let's delve into SpaceX's strategic fuel choice for their Raptor engine. While their earlier Falcon rocket series relied on traditional RP-1 fuel alongside liquid oxygen, a novel approach was taken with the Raptor engine where RP-1 was replaced by methane, a first in the industry. This shift isn't just about novelty. It's a strategic move aimed at enhancing rapid engine reuse, positioning SpaceX at the forefront of innovation. 
The decision to transition from RP-1 to methane was driven by a process called coking. When RP-1 burns, it leaves behind solid carbon residue akin to the black smoke from a kerosene-lit tiki torch, but on a much larger scale. While this residue is manageable for single-use engines, it poses challenges for reusability as it accumulates and can lead to significant issues over time. By opting for methane, SpaceX mitigates this coking issue, paving the way for more efficient and sustainable engine reuse. Preservation of engine capacity and combustibility leads to efficient engines, ensuring the objective of making space travel cost less. SpaceX isn't alone in embracing methane. Their rival, Blue Origin, led by Jeff Bezos, is also diving into methane propulsion with their Blue Engine 4 BE4. This shift has been a long time coming and for good reason. Methane offers super efficiency compared to other fuels, allowing for smaller rockets and ultimately reducing launch costs, a critical factor, especially considering SpaceX's ambitious plans. Each Starship will boast six Raptor engines with an additional 33 on the Super Heavy booster, totaling 39 engines per launch. To put that into perspective, SpaceX's current largest rocket, the Falcon Heavy, sports 38 Merlin engines on its lower stage and one on its upper stage. With such a high demand for engines, SpaceX's production rate will need to soar. This highlights the importance of efficiency in both engine design and manufacturing processes as SpaceX gears up for the extensive launch schedule ahead. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's venture into methane propulsion adds an intriguing dimension to the ongoing engine race. One key to the Raptor's engine efficiency lies in its advanced rocket engine technology. Unlike the Merlin engine's open-cycle gas generator design, where some fuel remains unburned, the Raptor employs a full-flow staged compulsion cycle for maximum efficiency. In a full-flow staged combustion engine, both the fuel and oxidizer undergo complete combustion, first in the pre-burners to power the turbines and then in the combustion chamber to generate thrust. This double-burning process achieves nearly 99% efficiency, the pinnacle allowed by current physics understanding. This design marks a departure from the traditional gas generator cycle, where only a fraction of the fuel and oxidizer are burned in the pre-burner. By optimizing combustion efficiency, SpaceX has propelled the Raptor to the forefront of rocket engine technology, setting new standards for performance and reliability in space exploration. The Raptor engine's design is a marvel of engineering, successfully eliminating the inefficiencies inherent in the gas generator cycle. This advancement is not solely about fuel economy. It also simplifies the engine's architecture. For instance, the seals between the turbine and the pump are less critical since both the fuel and oxidizer are destined for the same location, mitigating the risk of contamination. Furthermore, introducing fuel and oxidizer as gases into the combustion chamber enhances the engine's efficiency compared to traditional engines that inject them as liquids. The full-flow stage combustion engine's turbines operate at cooler temperatures and lower pressures compared to the single turbine systems in conventional rocket engines. This reduced stress on the turbine impellers translates to longer operational lifespans and less frequent maintenance. SpaceX's commitment to reusability benefits significantly from these features as they align with the company's goal to extend the longevity of their engines, paralleling the importance of fuel efficiency. Reusability in rocketry isn't a novel idea, but its practical implementation has been limited. SpaceX stands out in this field, while NASA, the US's premier space agency, hasn't produced reusable rockets. NASA's involvement in rocket development is typically limited to scenarios where commercial solutions are inadequate. The economics of reusability only makes sense with a high launch frequency, which NASA operations don't justify. For instance, the Apollo program Saturn V was used only a handful of times, making reusability an impractical investment. Conversely, the space shuttle was designed for frequent flights, leading to the reusability of the orbiter and solid rocket boosters, though not the external tank. The shuttle's main engines were reusable, but NASA has no plans to reuse them for the SLS rocket due to the high cost of refurbishment and recertification. 
Collaborative efforts by France and Russia to create a reusable Ariane 5 were abandoned when the support infrastructure became too cumbersome. SpaceX's 14-year journey to achieve partial reusability with its rocket showcases the complexity and investment required. Even with SpaceX's advancements, many launch vehicle manufacturers remain skeptical about the cost-effectiveness of developing reusable systems for their fleet. The debate continues as the industry evaluates the balance between the upfront investment in reusability and the long-term benefits it may bring. What do you think, though? Will SpaceX finally succeed in ensuring perpetual Raptor reusability? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more space updates.